The authority of God Almighty, the authority given to you, the authority given to those who believe, to do as he would have you to do, and to walk in the authority that he's given you to help others find their way, to help others understand the importance of eternity. Where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend your life? Where will you spend every day after these days are over? You have to decide. The choice that was given to you through the authority of God Almighty, through Jesus Christ, giving you the authority to make that decision where you will spend eternity. Even, even as a sinner and as someone that denies God, you're still given the authority to make that choice. But you ultimately may. So have you ever made a choice? To allow the Spirit of God to come and reside inside of you. And to direct your steps. And to begin to walk in the, in the faith and the trust and the belief of Jesus Christ Almighty. And let Him work in your life. Have you ever made that decision? If you haven't made that decision, I, I challenge this morning that you would decide. This very day, because the Bible says the day is a day of salvation. I challenge you today to, to make that decision. Let this be the day that you decide, I'm going to change the rest of my life through my decision that was given me free to make. Walk up here, I'll pray with you right here. You can invite the Spirit to come and live inside of you and forgive you of every sin, just like we say. Every sin that was ever committed, washed away as white as snow, gone forever, never to be remembered again. All you have to do is decide. All you have to do is come to the place that you say, I need Jesus. Because without that authority, without Him in your life, you're defeated. Eternity will defeat if you don't accept Jesus. So would anybody this morning come up here? I'll pray with you right here. This altar. I'll kneel with you right here. We'll kneel down and pray and invite Jesus into your life. Let Him come in. Let the Spirit of God come and dwell inside. Forgive you of every sin. Bring you a peace of understanding and a peace and a joy that doesn't come from any other place. Through the authority of God Almighty, He calls out to you and says, Would you come? There's one in here right now that's really depressed. And it's hard for me to. They just need to come from the Lord. Just as Peter told the crippled man, Get up and walk. You're in a distressful place. You don't know what to do. Get up and walk. Get up and walk by the power, by the authority of God Almighty. Get up and walk up here. And let's pray together and you can receive the gift of eternal life. Receive the gift of forgiveness of sin. Jesus is tugging at your heart. Please come to Jesus. He's calling you. He wants you. He wants you, child. He wants you. He died for your sins. He died on the cross. That you would be here today by divine appointment. No one here is by accident today. God appointed every person that's here to be here. And He appointed you to be here also. So would you let go of the world and grab a hold of Jesus this morning? Would you give Him a chance to, to begin to work in your life and show you His mighty power, His authority from God Almighty? This morning it's available right here. The invitation is open. Nothing to be afraid of. All it takes is that first step. All it takes, when, when Peter reached out and grabbed the head man by the hand, all it took was his willingness to allow Peter to pull him up. Allow Jesus to pull you up out of the miry clay. Yes. He's reaching out to you now to pull you up. Would you give this morning? Would you allow him into your life? Anyone at all? He's waiting. He's waiting. And he waits. He's been waiting for you your entire life. <laughs> He tells us in the scripture, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. And he knew you'd be here today. <coughs> so anyone at all, today I, is a day of salvation. I visited a lady yesterday in the hospital that tried to take her own life. <coughs> she just needed Jesus. She talked like she was a Christian or she knew God. 
But sometimes this world just gets you down and you don't know where to turn. And there is room at the cross for you. I was 34 years old when I was saved. God has done a miracle in my life. Allow you to do a miracle in yours. Mm. And we're praying for the girl at the hospital that she can be a miracle too. Because she lived. Faith is a grain of mustard seed. That's all it takes. A little bit of belief. Okay, I'm going to try. Would you come this morning? The Spirit is waiting for you to come and receive where He died on the cross for you to have. It's not asking for anything, it's simply receiving what He's already done. I plead with you this morning, don't wait another day. Because we have no promise of tomorrow. Tomorrow might not come. Where would you be now? So would you come this morning? And you want to know? Father in heaven, you know the ones that are here this morning. In order for your spirit to speak in the sound, I pray that they would someday give to that spirit. They would someday, very near, very soon, come to the place that they receive you as their Savior. The invitation is never closed. You're welcome to come at any time. Just let go and get up in one step, one step. For Jesus will change your life forever. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we thank you. And by the authority given to us through Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless each and every one that's here this morning. Yes. Give them peace. Give them comfort. Give them joy. And give them boldness, Lord, to go out and speak the things that that you call them to speak by the authority given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time we've had together. We thank you for each one this year. As you've appointed us to be in this place today. We give you glory. We give you praise. For it is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. That's all right.